Hi guys! <laughs> welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel, depending guys. Either way, mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you and thank you for tuning in. So let's tap in and let's see what Spirit has to say. Let's clean news off. I wanted you to see the cards and only the cards, guys. Let's tap in and let's see what's going on. What do we want to bring out? Let's get the Starseed Oracle deck for my beautiful chosen ones, okay? My Divine Feminine, Divine Masculines, please put yourself where you belong. These are timeless, general, and collective readings, so they may or may not resonate from start to finish. You know your story best. Put yourself where you belong, guys. Grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable, cuz... Tasha, me, <laughs> is going to spill the tea. So cheers. Mm. Bottom of the deck, it's the new earth. And that is what we're in. The new earth, guys, it's beautiful. It's happening. Keep holding your vision. Okay? And a golden child. See, we got to go inwards. You are the golden child. Now people wanted to treat you some kind of way, and they're realizing that you are the portal. You have an opportunity to open up a lot of people's gifts, one to one on my clock, inner earth and breath of the cosmos. Okay, so you are breathing. You are you are a breath of fresh air. You're a breath from the cosmos. You're not from this world. That's why you don't feel like you fit in. But look, you have to be grateful for those people who made you feel like you didn't fit in because you were able to be cracked open. Now, somebody, a lot of people, are being cracked open in this new earth. You've tried to forewarn a lot of people to get ready, but they didn't want to listen. Now, somebody has hit a rock bottom and they're surrendering to an alchemy of life. Bottom of the deck is your life is a canvas. <laughs> somebody is realizing that they have the paintbrush. It's a new chapter, guys. It's a new world, new life. You can do whatever you choose to do. So if somebody's telling you that you can't do something, that is their limitations not yours artists manifestation and creative accountability and bottom of the deck is deep cellular healing physical and emotional healing so you are you're going through emotional and physical healing maybe somebody else's take it as it resonates but you definitely know that your life is a moving prayer a moving canvas you have the choices you are going to make the right choices for yourself because it's happening keep holding your vision guys you are healing on a cellular level and it's because you chose to be cracked open you chose to surrender to the alchemy of life. You're not pushing back. You're just going with the flow. It is what it is. And you're manifesting a beautiful life for yourself. And um, you're holding accountability. You're making someone else hold accountability as well. What's on my lap? It says, what do you feel? See, you're making somebody else hold accountability and you're asking them, what do they feel? Now, somebody needs to feel something. Because here it says every step starts with a single journey. So somebody may be packing their bags. You, perhaps, packing your bags or have packed your bags. Remember, past, present, future. This could be your story. This could be somebody else's. This could be somebody playing in your energy that you know nothing about. So please, you deserve a sermon. But the apple is different than the orange, but that doesn't mean that they're not both valuable. Now, there could be a person wanting to come in, you know, but that baggage is it a lot? Is it too much for you to carry? You see what I mean? You might not be the same as this person. <sighs> heart of the deck, nothing. Bottom of the deck, beyond the heart, the mind speaks. So somebody is listening to their heart, and it's speaking. And what it's saying is to go on a new journey. It's a new world. It's time to go on a new journey. So if you've been asking, what do I need to do? You need to take a leap of faith. Do something different. Beyond the mind, the heart beats. Stop thinking about it. If you keep thinking about it, you're going to be in that ana analysis paralysis. You're never going to go anywhere. You're just going to be fearful, guys. And remember, fear, it doesn't really subside. We just do it scared. <laughs> That's what it is. Ancestors... The dream and the oracle deck, what's going on here? Trust. Bottom of the deck. You're going to have to trust. Okay? You're going to have to put your faith in the universe. And this is what the universe wants you to do right now. Put faith in, in them because it's happening. Deep cellular healing on a global scale right now is happening. 
So we have to trust. It gets worse before it gets better. Okay, guys? So trust yourself in the universal plan for you. Do not give your trust to others lightly. When one door closes, another one opens. This is why you have to understand that beyond the mind, the heart speaks. Wow, my dog just <laughs> took my light out. Watch out, my puppy. Let's put that back on. So somebody may be trying to shut out your light or shut out somebody else's light. And while they're feeling like a little bit of a jackass <laughs> because it's not working, you can easily just put it back on because you have you are a healer. You have that healing power. And it's only because you trust. You trust in a higher power. You trust in source. You trust in yourself. And focus and school and exam. Now listen, we get the test first and the lesson afterwards. You're focusing. You're focusing on a bigger picture. And you understand that school, I mean, earth is a school, right? So it says school. In what areas do you feel inadequate? Are you constantly competing with others? And are you in the process of evaluating yourself and your goals? And focus. For enlightenment, stay in the moment. Chop wood. Carry water. Avoid distractions. Meditate and bring unresolved issues into view. That's what you're doing. You're bringing unresolved issues into view. And you're seeing the bigger picture. And you know there's people constantly in competition with you, but you're trusting the bigger picture. You're trusting that you have the power within yourself. There could be a lot of people trying to be better than you at you. <laughs> but that's not working, guys. It's not working at all. They're looking like a whole hot motherfucking mess. <coughs> and they could definitely be trying to block your throat chakra because they can't express themselves fully. Somebody is upset with you because you're the high priestess. You are very knowledgeable. You have the book of knowledge. You see beyond. Somebody is mad at your gifts. Bottom of the deck. Wow. The lover in reverse. It's karmic energy. Somebody who you don't want to have a relationship, a partnership with, or a third party that is mad because you see through them. Take it as it resonates, guys. We're going to get into this tarot and we're going to find out what's going on and see what the story is. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, okay? It does help the algorithm. Ancestors, what's going on here? Let's get an eight-card spread and clarify this. Something is happening right now in this very moment. And it's the Ten of Swords. You're getting out of the betrayal, abandonment, feeling, rock bottom energy. This is the healing on a cellular level. You got out of some kind of emotional turmoil. You cracked yourself open. Somebody's being cracked open because of the truth. The truth prevails. Eight of discs, five of discs. You're out of poverty. You're out of poverty. This could be a mental mind fuck that you had, but you were able to turn your talents into a profession. You did the work. Whether this is physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, all the motherfucking above. You did the work. It's the seven of this. But somebody did not want to invest in you. Fortune in reverse. So there was a blockage. Bottom of the deck, it's the princess of cups. There was a blockage because a lot of people are very immature. They refuse to apologize for something that they did. Nine of coins. And they see that you are single, self-sufficient, independent, and you're doing whatever you're choosing to do. You're doing it by yourself. And you don't want to be involved in some kind of karmic relationship, friendships, especially people who refuse to apologize. They have an empty cup. Okay, It is what it is. They're childish beyond measure. Like This is somebody, because at the bottom of the deck, it's the Ace of Swords. This is somebody who knows that you stand in your truth. So they're avoiding you because... They've been trying to be better at being you. <laughs> it is what it is, guys. But you healed from this rock bottom betrayal, abandonment kind of energy. And you got cracked open because, yes, somebody tried to take your fortune, try to be you, try to walk in your energy. But you're a whole motherfucking vibe. You are a whole motherfucking vibe. And a lot of people can envy you, but they only envy you because you're untouchable and because you managed somehow to get out of poverty and you did it by yourself all by yourself you put your head down you drank your water and you did the work 
Cheers, guys. Congratulations. And somebody's mad that they didn't invest in you. They didn't try to be there for you when you needed them the most. And it, it, that's because they're childish. They're very immature. They're never going to really help anybody but themselves. But that doesn't mean you're not a muse for somebody. Ancestors, what's going on here? I was going to do an eight-card spread. Yeah, let's do an eight-card spread. All right. So there's four. Wow. It's the page of uh, Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the hangman in reverse and the Knight of Swords in the upright. You did. You went towards something and you spoke logically. Somebody came towards you pissed off. They were only wanted to take from you. Or somebody is seeing in a 360 degree angle, this karmic relationship was just taken. You know, they could really accomplish everything 11-11, but at the end of the day, they have nothing really to stand on because of the environment, the, the leeches. Very codependent energies. you got to be careful, guys. When you have money, you don't know who your true friends are, so don't tell people you have money, okay? Because at the end of the day, somebody sees you standing on business. They're standing on business after they refuse to uh, invest in you. It's got someone upset because they're the ones who have the fortune in reverse. Like, they're feeling some kind of way because you heal. You're the nine of pentacles. You're doing this all by yourself. Single, self-sufficient, independent. And there's definitely somebody trying to spy on you. And it's a con uh, mischievous kind of energy. Somebody who wants to just get some information so they can rat on you. But they can't find nothing on you. Queen of Wands in the upright. Somebody sees you as very powerful. Very, very powerful. That's why somebody has been trying to cloak themselves to walk in your energy. Someone's trying to be better at being you than you. It keeps coming up. But, like I said, your whole fucking vibe. And this person, like, you're so beautiful and you have this knowledge. But this person is a wicked old hag. And the illusions are breaking. Four of Wands. 